What's up, Marines? It's your boy, Julia Oscar Echo. My fellow JROTC kids know what I'm talking about. Clips not mags, am I right, fellas? Well, you might be asking, why all this military talk? That's because we got a lot of guns we need to get camos on. And when I mean a lot, I mean all of them. Because I went ahead and started a fresh new account to grind Orion on. You guys know I'm a fiend for camo grinding, and that's basically my favorite thing to do in COD, so we're going to be doing it again. As you might be able to see here in the top right, I am a level one. I have not played a single game on this account yet. I don't even have create a class unlocked, but we're going to go through and grind out all the camos and all these guns again, but this time I'm playing on PlayStation. So this gives me an opportunity to try to get better on the sticks while doing what I love to do in COD again. But we have a lot to do, so let's hop in and I'll explain more in game. If you guys have been around the channel for a while, you know that this isn't the first time that I've done camos for a second time, if that makes sense. Uh, we did this in Cold War with Dark Aether. Uh, I created a second account to grind on there. And we also did it with Dark Matter, but we didn't finish uh, Dark Matter Ultra on, on Cold War. But I wanted to hop on here and grind out the camos again. I think the camo grind in this game is really fun and I just wanted to see what it's like starting from scratch with the knowledge that I have now and just see how difficult it is on controller, at least for me, somebody who's just awful on the sticks. And I kind of want to throw this in as the little buffer in between our rank play videos because that's mainly what I've been playing on my my main account, my full account, my actual account. So this ought to spice it up a little bit. And I think I'm going to borrow from what we did with the Dark Aether and the Dark Matter series is uh, I'm going to be taking your guys' suggestions on what weapons you guys want to see me do. So the top comment of this video will be the weapon that we do next. Keep in mind that this is a fresh account and I don't think I will be able to get a lot of the battle pass weapons very fast or weapons at like a very high level, but I'm sure we'll have it all unlocked, you know, relatively soon. I think the hardest thing to get right now will be like all the new season two weapons and like the crossbow because those all need the, the battle pass tiers and the event to do it, but we'll be able to get them. And since we literally don't even have create a class and our first weapon we can use is the M4, I'm beginning the M4 gold today. I wonder what the other levels are in here. 163, 331, 270, 402. There's one other level one in here, one other person that just got the game, which is kind of cool, but pretty embarrassing for these other th level 300s in here. I think I might be 360 something, and they're all in my SBMM. That's kind of wild, but not only do I have to get all the camos on this today, I have to get this all the way leveled up. Thankfully, though, there isn't a whole lot of levels to get in this game. It should come relatively quickly, and the camos aren't too difficult to get. It's not like I have to go do long shots today. But there will be a time where I'm going to need to get like 100 million long shots in the same day. And uh, I'm not very excited for that day to come. But we are kind of whacking shit right now. We are fucking these people up. These got to be bots or something. There's no way. So we're kind of slaughtering. I should probably use some of my score streaks, huh? Uh, let's call in the SAE for fun. Uh, I'll use a little cruise missile real quick as long as this guy doesn't kill me. Okay, he did kill me, but guess what, buddy? Cruise missile coming right at you. Oh, I got a quad kill at the SAE. Oh, we're cooking. I want to stay in this SBMM lobbies forever for my whole life. Honestly, what I should be doing is focusing on trying to get a nuke because this is probably my only opportunity is on a very fresh account with a bunch of people who don't know their fingers from their toes. So I have never gotten a nuke before in my life. I've come close a few times back when it was like a 25 kill streak. But ever since it switched to 30, there's just been no chance for me. I'm not really a long kill streak type of player. I'll go on little benders here and there, but for the most part, I just run at the wall and die. But I had 45 kills that game, so not too shabby for my first game on here. Look at all those challenges we completed. I'll take those. Do I finally have create a class? Oh, I do. Let's go. Perfect. Oh, and a playlist update. What we got? Shipment 24-7 now? This is exactly what we need to get this camo grinding done. Our weapon is only level three though, which is not the greatest, but three levels in one game, that's not bad. What are the camos we need to get? 50 kills. We're over halfway there. Then we need to get 50 kills while ADS. Easy. 10 double kills and 15 kills from behind. I don't know how the 15 kills from behind is going to work, but the rest of these we can knock out pretty easily. And the only thing I can add to this thing is a muzzle. And I have one muzzle. Okay, I'm just not going to have anything on here, I guess. But can I switch up this perk package? Let's get a uh, Battle Hard and Double Time Cold Blooded Ghost. That's not bad. Even though Battle Hard and basically does nothing. Oh, I can't even use the throwing knife yet. What level do I need to be? 54? They're really just going to take my baby away like that. All right, we'll get it back. And I love how you start with the flash grenade. The most OP tactical in this game. All right, well, I guess it's back to the grind. Can I switch my field upgrade, though? I didn't even check that. Deployable cover? We don't need that. Um... Looks like that's the only thing we really have besides suppression mine. I'll throw that on. I guess that's a little more useful. And while we're in this menu, might as well activate a little double XP, double weapon XP. 
Don't know why they're in here, but we'll pop them. And we're already going against people who kind of know their fingers from their toes. Let's try to collect all the tags we can, get all that bonus XP while we have the double weapon XP going. And also, just want to point out, this is the first time I've used this capture card in a bit. Uh, I haven't used it since, like, the last, like, Road to Dark Aether or something like that. So it's been a little while. Uh, I'm a little rusty on, on how it works. So if there's any issues with like the audio or the video or anything, hopefully I'll have them figured out by like the next video. But just let me know, you know, give me some feedback and I'll, I'll try to make this series as, as smooth as possible. But I'm excited. It's, it's fun starting out new on something that you're like a, a veteran at. Like my favorite time of the year is the start of the camo grind, you know, a brand new game, brand new guns, hopping in, not really knowing what the challenges are going to be, not knowing what the weapons are going to be like, how long the grind's going to be. It's just all brand new. Now that we know all that and we have like the expertise coming in, this should be a lot smoother. But so far I'm getting walloped in this game, so maybe not. One thing I know I'm going to struggle with like bad is recoil control. I don't know why I can't just pull down on the joystick, but it feels like it's always going straight up in the air. Like the sticks don't come naturally to me. I, I was never very good when I played like console primarily and then I switched to PC and I was never really good on that either. But I'm at least a little better than I am on a controller. And I know what you're going to say. Why don't you just plug in a keyboard and mouse into the PlayStation? Nah, I don't want to. I want to get better at the controller. And I feel like keyboard and mouse on a console feels a little wonky to me. I'd rather use this time to practice on a controller. So if I ever go anywhere and there's not like a keyboard and mouse available, I can just throw on the controller and you know play at least semi-decent. You know, maybe look like I know what I'm doing a little bit. Oh wait, did I just finish a camo? I can't tell. I love the, the pop-ups in this game where you see them for 0.2 seconds as you're dying and they don't show back up. It's one of my biggest gripes about this game besides not having any maps. I'm just running into nothing but the KV broadside right now and just getting dismantled for it. Why is this guy spawning on me with it? Or I spawned on him. Why are you putting me right next to a dude with a shotgun? That's not what I want. That's what nobody wants. Awful spawn. And now they got a chopper gunner. All right. Why don't we calm down a little bit here, fellas? Why don't you just let me get some camos and you shoot some other people? Okay, yeah, we got cooked. I had 29 kills, but I still felt like I died way more than that. This guy's a level 450. We have two level 450s. That's max level, I'm pretty sure, in this. And I'm a level 7. Not that levels really mean anything besides that you've played the game for that long, but why am I in the same lobby as these guys? Yeah, 29 and 39. Let's see. Did I come out of that game with at least something? Oh, I did. We got the 50 kills with the gun. Cool. Okay, so I need to get this to level 8, and then 13, and then 19, and then I can fully get all the camos. And we finally have some attachment options. Well, let me just get a, a grip here. I don't know if we need a larger mag, but might as well. Why not? And we'll get a faster ADS barrel. Let's go try this out. Oh, there's a 10v10 mosh pit now? All right, let's try it. We still got seven minutes on this weapon XP, so we better get it to use. Oh, border crossing. No, 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 no. I'm going back to shipment. You you tried your best, 10v10 mosh pit. You really did. But they didn't just put border crossing back in for that. Oh my Lanta, the amount of tags you can pick up and grind is crazy. I just got 300 XP for walking. Oh, let's get all these tags. Beautiful. Let's deposit them. Oh, this is sweet. Give me all these. Let's redeposit. Ooh, mega bank. Look at that. Oh. I was so right about this mode. We did a video when Grind came out to this game and we tried it out. The amount of XP you can get is ridiculous. I fuck with Grind. This is sweet. And the game's already over, but we got so much XP. Please keep Grind in here. Oh, there we go. 50 ADS kills. Done. I think next we just need double kills, but we need to level it up first. Oh, I wish we were high enough level already. We're popping off with the triple kills, the double kills. We're going dirty nasty on them. Okay, I think we're a high enough level now. I think it was level 12. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Satellite radio. Holy shit, a quad feed. And I'm on my William shit again. Everybody was just in one spot dying for me to get some double kills. Actually, I love it when shit falls into place like that it is the best. And might as well hit him with a cruise missile while we're at it. Quick little triple, we take those. I don't know if getting kills with kill streaks while you have your weapon out counts towards XP for that weapon, but if it does, we'll take it. Oh, that's another double. And a triple, maybe. Almost a quad. We can get all of our double kills done this game. If we play our cards right, we probably would have already had it if we didn't have to level it up. Oh, and there's another. Keep bringing them to me. Oh, that's game. 
33 kills, but a lot of doubles. We got a lot of camo progress. Oh no, I needed to be level 13 for it. So all those double kills didn't count at all. That's great. That's fantastic. Well, at least we got one other camo done. Okay, so new account and the camo curse still follows me because I got all those double kills and none of them counted. Is that my double kills? I just got a triple. Even a quad? Yep, double kills are done. Now we just need to wait until I'm a high enough level to shoot people in the back. Those kills from behind are going to kill me. Oh, we finally got decoys. We can start using these to get some XP. This is taking forever. I played about like three, maybe four games. And we're not even at the level yet to start getting our kills from behind. We should get at this game though. But I am level 20. I only have one battle pass token. So explain that, COD. Why do we get these so slow? Okay, I think we're finally a high enough level to go for kills from behind. We got weapon tuning unlocked. Yeah, we're definitely the max level. Question is, can we actually kill somebody from behind? This is like my least favorite camo challenge. At least shipment helps. Maybe I'll get like a fucked up spawn right behind a bunch of people. Oh, we might have just got one for the final kill there. Let's go, baby. How many we get? Oh, just the one. Cool. Need so many more. 14 is might as well be 100. Oh my Lanta, look at all those tags. Oh, where was grind when I needed XP? We literally played it one time when I needed XP. And that was a nice game. I'll hold 20 seconds. There we go. That should be a kill from behind. That's maybe our second one. Holy shit, this is going to take forever. That might have been another one. And that's the game. So I've gotten maybe two. All right, we're actually at five. Right, that's not terrible, but this camo challenge always drags. Is that one? Please say it is. It's like the second I get a camo challenge like this, nobody wants to show me their ass. It's all faces. I'm trying to see some cheeks. Extract a... I just got a challenge done for extracting a weapon from DMZ building whatever. I have definitely not done that. I've only played shipment. Oh, and when I go for kills from behind, people got riot shields on. I'm shoot sitting there shooting their cankles, but they're too strong. Oh, here we go. That should be a few kills from behind. At, at least two. Oh, that's ha that's gotta be one. Right in the back of the kneecaps. I need to start using smoke grenades, actually. It seems to be working. No, why would you melee me? There's another kill from behind right there. You cucked me. I'm getting camo cucked. Do I even have smoke grenades unlocked? I do. I'm using them. No one's gonna find me. No one's gonna see me. Okay, great, great fucking first smoke grenade. Is that one? Or is that a kill from the side? Is this game gonna be stingy with me? Maybe. Oh my god, we finally got it done. Holy shit. Now I can just go for three kills without dying. I'm currently on a Merciless. But it's immediately gonna end the second I get that camo. Oh no, and that's two. But honestly, three kills without dying. Infinitely easier than kills from behind. And we just need seven more three kills without dying. See, this one flies by so much faster than this. This took me like an hour on this camo alone. There we go. Quick triple. A few more of those and we'll be walking out of here with gold. Come on. Oh, why do I have, why do I feel the need to just reload after every kill? I've never been able to get out of my system and now that reload canceling has gone, it's just worse. Oh, does this count? Does any of this count? If I start out the multi-kill, I just got a super kill. If I start out the multi-kill with a, a score streak, do it count? Am I getting gold progress from this or no? If not, it don't matter. I was still kind of popping off. Oh, we just need two more. Two more and we have our first gold on this account. Let's fucking go. Hey, we're starting off good. That's a double. Not the prettiest double, but you know, two kills is two kills. And that's three. We just need to do it one more time. Here's a guy right here. Timmy dipshit. Dead. And now I'm dead. I'm Timmy dipshit. No, that could have been it right there. No, no way they're gonna cuck me like this. I'm literally one three kills without dying away. I just keep getting taken out by RPGs, random score streaks. Anything you can think of has killed me. Except for right here. Let's go, baby. We did it. That's a rank up. Show me the camo or don't. There we go. Finally. All right, we're done. Get me out of here. Whew. All right. Well, in sense, we have the unique opportunity to see 
what our stats are after getting one weapon done. Our KDs are 1.05, better than it is on my main. We are 529 kills, 506 deaths. This all took place within two hours and 12 minutes and 498 kills it took to get it. That's pretty good. I mean, the time and the KD and everything, not the greatest, but I mean, we got it done pretty efficiently besides the kills from behind. Let's make sure that we do have it unlocked. All right, we do. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead, hop in game, see what it looks like there. All right, let's take a peek at our first gold here, and it is beautiful. Absolutely perfect. Everything I could ask for in a gold camo. Honestly, the gamma coverage in this game is really good, and I'm fumbling all over my buttons on my controller. But little, little tidbit of information for you. I actually got the M4 done only on controller. I did it on Xbox early into the game, and now on PlayStation. I don't think I've gotten the M4 done on keyboard and mouse. Maybe, maybe a third account one of these days. But there you have it. We have our first gold camo on this new account. Make sure you let me know what weapon you want to see me do next down below. The top comment will be the weapon that we do next. And I'm excited for this new camo grinding journey. I think it's going to be a lot of fun so uh hopefully you guys enjoy it too but uh i'm gonna end the video here uh thank you guys for watching thank you for all your love and support it truly means the most to me and uh i will see you guys next time later